hello guys welcome back to a brand new travel vlog a long time no travel vlog i feel like it's been so so long since i've been away i actually haven't been away since june my last press trip or trip abroad was saint lucia and i can't believe how the months have flown by and i've not done um, any travel since then so it feels really nice to be back with a new travel vlog for you all i am in saint tropez for the weekend today's friday and um i have just arrived well i say just arrived i've had lunch and settled into um, my room but i have arrived at the arev hotel in saint tropez for a weekend of just south of france sunshine i feel like this is the perfect send-off to um summer and i know it's october but it really does still feel like summer here and um, i just wanted to introduce you to the vlog show you my room because i feel like it wouldn't be a press trip vlog guys without a room tour and what a spectacular room this is i genuinely walked in gobsmacked this is one of the most breathtaking spaces it's so my style i literally would adore to just copy and paste it and take all the furniture and all the photography and the images and just everything and just lift it and put it into my own space because it is the dream this hotel is beautiful super boutique really really cozy and just honestly breathtaking from the minute we arrived there's a running theme as well with all the rooms and obviously like the lobby area the restaurant stripes red and blue so expect that throughout this hotel because it is just such a clever clever interior like angle and i just think it sums up saint tropez in like the best possible way i'm so happy to be back in the south of france i haven't been here since i think 2022 which i cannot believe it's been that long um but yes i am back finally and yeah it just feels so nice to be in the south of france loving life um enjoying the vibes and yeah i just can't wait to show you around so let's do a tour i'll start off right at the front door of my room so this is like the lobby sort of area as we walk in we've got the wardrobe space here really really lovely i've actually done um the hard work already and hung up all my clothes uh, so everything is hanging in there ready for me to um, get dressed and changed we've got the bar area here which i always love in a hotel i love to just utilize this for like coffees and refreshments and i honestly just every little bit of detail in this hotel is just so my vibe like i would I would love to have something like that in my room and i just love the attention to detail with like all the blues and the textures and like the layering with the frame on the glass like the perspex and like the the material sort of textures honestly blowing me away um and then this gorgeous photo of like two girls jumping off a yacht which if that doesn't sum up the vibes of saint tropez i don't know what will it just this room was meant for me i love the energy of it we've got a huge floor to ceiling um mirror which again is so important and hotels often completely bypass this or they just put something small somewhere this is fantastic it opens up the space and it is just the perfect getting ready like outfit of the day outfit of the night um place for images moving on <laughs> moving on to the living space this is again utterly breathtaking and my eye went straight to this long landscape um image here of the ocean i just love stuff like this i think that is so calming and something that i would want to see and wake up to in the morning i'm i'm one of those people i've mentioned it many a time on my vlog channel i'm not a fan of um images like paintings of people necessarily like i love photography but i find sometimes the paintings that happen and are sort of put up around a room can be very subjective and i feel like it depends on your mood and your vibe and like there's something about paintings that just not they don't always sit well with me so i tend to prefer photography so i'm really happy that this is a very photography focused room and a lot of the rooms are there are sort of bits of art around the hotel which again are very very lovely but yeah i'm a big fan of photography so yeah i will be sitting 
in the morning and just observing this because I feel like it's going to feel so calm. It almost appears like a yacht window and I think that's something quite special. Like it feels like I'm on a boat um, with all like the nautical references, these like oval mirrors which like with the curved mirrored um, like glass glass going on is mirrored glass I feel like it is um, on both sides so that's something a little bit quirky and then again if we pan over they're featured on the other side as well which I've never seen that sort of thing before and then we have a huge tv which I could not tell you how big this is it is massive it also says my name on it which is just so sweet it says welcome Alice Bradley um, which is lovely and then down here we've got a dear Madame Bradley you know how I am with these um, name cards which whoever wrote this has the most beautiful handwriting I love it we've got two glasses even though it's just me in the room and we've got a bottle of rosé peeking in there which I'm gonna have to drink because I've only came with hand luggage we've got some more books which I can't wait to have a little look into a little peek love that and then we pan up and we've got a cozy little like reading nook here a desk and the bed which again the bed looks so stunning like I love the navy blue with the grey and again like the materials used are just fantastic I'm loving it so much I can't wait to wake up with like the natural light behind me and yeah really nice like bedside tables super um, spacious there's also portable um, charging points here so like you don't have to worry about cables in the night uh, you can just charge up your phone which I think is such a nice idea to kind of keep things quite minimal um, next to your bed and then let's just pan around here We've got another little note which again is addressed to me which is lovely and look at these little sweet treats like i could not get over the fact that these are sparkly i can't wait to eat them i'm not gonna lie um we've had a lovely lunch but i am very very tempted to have a little bite of these because look at those fantastic um but yeah i'm absolutely loving the bedroom space here i'll just pan quickly out of the window out onto the um i don't really know what this is kind of called but this is like a patio and um you can go and like sit out there's a little arev um van and then but there's a paddle court right here which we're going to be doing a paddle uh class tomorrow which i can't wait for i think it's going to be so much fun or well, that might be sunday actually maybe tomorrow um but yeah it's been lovely to kind of watch people play paddle um which is something that's really really popular at the moment um but yeah absolutely loving this room i just it's just incredible my my jaw is on the floor and then just taking you into the um bathroom we've got some matching uh his and her robes which are fantastic his and her sinks again so stunning and just super cozy everything is so cozy in here love i just love these sconces with the red i really feel like i'm inspired by everything in this um hotel room we've got monogrammed towels with the monogram of the hotel which again just the attention to detail is really incredible and then we come in here this is actually a wet room guys so this is the shower room and also the bath but I can just stand in here and close this space off so everything's kind of concealed. I love this. And again, the texture of the um, tiling, I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely stunning and um, just gorgeous. The way the light just hits in these spaces, it's dreamy. And then you've got all these lovely like yellow ceramic um, shampoo shower gel bottles and conditioner and they also have these um ceramic uh jars for their like olive oil and balsamic so there's a real running theme here there's a lot of attention to detail which i just think is fantastic um and then i don't normally show the toilet guys but i feel like it's always nice to know that it's an option we have an automatic toilet which I mean, I feel like that's enough toilet viewing for um, anyone to really bear, but nice to know it is a heated, a heated seat. <laughs> it's a heated seat and an automatic toilet. So I, I got a nice surprise when I sat down on that earlier. I was like, oh, that's very 
it's rather nice I forgot how nice a heated seat is on a toilet um but yeah i'm going to get myself ready i'm just going to sit down here for a second because i feel like i've missed doing this so much and touring around um the hotel and just showing you like when i'm traveling and doing bits but it's just so nice to be back on it with these types of like vlogs and content like this so um yeah stick around it's a really small um press trip there's two other journalists on this trip and one pr so there's four of us in total um which is really really intimate so that's really nice it feels like a girl's trip and um yeah i think it's going to be a really really lovely weekend so i want you guys to stick around if you have clicked on this video because you are either staying at a rev or you're interested in staying and you want to know what it's going to look like and what to expect from the hotel i really hope this vlog can be beneficial to you if you're just having a little browse i'll try and include like all the information as well in the description links and um, room rates and just yeah any information i can if there's any additional things or if you have any questions and um, you're viewing this vlog and you're like oh i want to ask alice this question just pop it in the comments and I will do my best to answer um, all your questions. So yeah, really, really glad to be back in Saint-Tropez. I just, it's the, it's the little bit of French in me that just loves this part of the world. And I will always, always, always be a France girlie. I just think you just can't beat it. Um, but yeah, going to get ready now because we actually have, I'm so excited for this, we have a patonk lesson or like a patonk session i don't know whether we're going to be taught how to play it properly or whether we're just going to be taken to play patonk but i haven't played patonk in so long um like literal years so probably since i was a child so it'd be really really fun to do that and um yeah have a lovely uh, rest of my afternoon and yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this vlog oh it's so nice to be back doing travel stuff and um yeah i will document everything. the technique going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Woohoo. <laughs> Put on in little heels, soft heels, so it gives it a milk that is very different, very soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he talks about uh, cheese also, I didn't say it, like uh, I talk about wine, mm -hmm. I think, <laughs> because he's really passionate about what he does and every uh, maturity 
will have different tastes. Wow, so, voilà. that's why he's going to explain. Et je travaille en agriculture biologique depuis 50 ans. Et ce qui est merveilleux, c'est que la nature vous a fait tout ce qu'il faut pour pouvoir faire ces choses de nouveau. Yesterday, c'était une feuille. Le fromage évolue. Dans une tombe comme ça, il y a à peu près 50 litres de lait. 50 litres de milk, juste dans cette one, juste dans cette cheese. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, c'est une Oh wow! 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 Oh The chestnut cream and the cheese over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are part of the Provence in terms of wine. Olive oil made with black olive. You know the difference of green and black olive? No. Pardon, le, le truc de centenaire, c'est quel centenaire, vous avez dit? Ça fait 2600 ans, 26 siècles. Ah, parce que quand on dit 26e centenaire non. siècle. Merci. Oh, je ne vous ai pas oui. servi, pardon. <laughs> so, as a shot, as, as a, a shot, shot like that, but. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. no. Right. On a very good tomato, that's it. Mm. Mm. You had it there, I had it before. It's <laughs> but always that a freshness coming on uh, the tongue. And I uh, repeat, the Viognier, you cannot find much. The people are having uh, 8 hectares. We well, just do a Viognier only. All right, but it's a grand thing going to test. And you can go with uh, all the stuff uh, oh, like fish. Like it? You like it? Mm. Uh, you find the very that apricot test, because most of the vineyards in Rhone Valley, they are planted next to the... Is, uh, Save of grandmother dish for the Sunday, okay? With a little bit bread. Yeah, I guess they're also new to them. Mm. Yeah. Only if it's something that, and they would usually. Yes. Oh, the cheese! We've got fish, the bass. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Mm. Okay guys, so it's the final evening. I've kept my hair really natural, got my glasses on and everything, but I just wanted to show you my outfit of the night. I've gone for a bit more of a casual look this evening. Zara jeans, um, I've got, where are these shoes from? I think these are Boohoo actually. Boohoo blouse and then my Fairfax and Fever bag. And yeah, ready for dinner, ready for wine tasting. And um, yeah, a really lovely evening. Just thought I would show you what I'm wearing.
Putain, c'est une fausse plaque. Ah, moi, non, pour ma part, en effet, je suis illustré de la scène. De, de vous singulariser de belles manières. Alors, comme vous êtes au club, je suppose que vous avez déjà vu que le partenaire Megwayer vous offre une petite microfibre. I love it guys, we have got one of the best spots on the harbour, wowie.